Sometimes called the belt bag or waist bag and widely known as the fanny pack, it's a trend that's been trending again. I like it because I can just flip it over. It's accessible for me to just grab my wallet, my phone, whatever. It came back in 2017, but fanny packs were extremely popular in the late 80s and widely used in the early 90s. I think it's super mainstream. I think it's been here for a while and it's definitely here to stay. New York based fashion stylist Lindsay Brooke Weiss says the convenience of the fanny pack is one major selling point and it seems many agree with her expert opinion. I think it's cute. I think it's convenient. Yeah, no, it is convenient. The design generally a pouch on straps that clip just like a belt, but you can find them in many different fabrics and variations for every season. From big designer brands to more affordable options, you can pretty much find a fanny pack in most stores or online. From Amazon, you know, under $15 to Lululemon. And then, of course, you have your Pradas, your YSL, your Balenciagas also. The fanny pack popular in both men's and women's fashion. It's actually a gift, so... I mean, I wouldn't say I went out of my way to like purchase a fanny pack by any means, but uh, you know, wearing one's been pretty helpful in some senses. Yeah. And while some aren't into the trend or just needed some time to warm up to it, I think it had to grow on me. But it's definitely something that's like it's really nice just for a couple of things to have with you. The fanny pack is thriving in stores and among consumers. You can wear it so many different ways. You can do a crossbody if you want. I have one that I actually love slinging over my shoulder. So it's pretty much, it's a fanny pack and it's the size of a fanny pack, but it also doubles as that and then triples again for actually putting it on your waist. And while you might have thought it would only have had a short stint this time around, that certainly proved untrue. I thought it was kind of like, um, ironic, a, a little bit of a joke, um, but now it's sort of part of everyday fashion. Stephanie Bertini, Fox 5 News.